Hey guys. guys, welcome back to your YouTube channel. Today we are in today we are in Disney Springs, and what we be doing, Dad? Today we're just remembering 2020. Yes. Our best moments of 2020, and I know it sounds crazy, guys. I know, I know 2020 has been rough, but for the Cool Kids Adventure, it hasn't been that bad, man. So we have a few things to share with you, and also we got future plans to share with you for 2021. And we're excited to let you know about it. And here we are in the beautiful Disney Spring because we spent a lot of time in here. But are you guys ready? Yes. Awesome, because I am. So what are we waiting on, guys? So let's go. Oh, wait, Mom, hit the intro. Mom, hit it! You know, 2020 started like big expectations like everybody else thought. Like and every year. I know, and for us as YouTubers or content creators, we have big dreams. And the dreams was to like take you in our journey, like we all usually do, and take you to as many theme parks and special events we could. We were so excited, why? Because we had the perfect opportunity to attend to an opening. So oh, amazing. that was amazing. An opening on Hollywood Studio, and that was for Mickey and Minnie Runaway Railroad. Yes. And that was amazing. <sighs> and it was amazing because we got to experience the whole thing. We were there, I want to say, like around 5.36 in the morning. And we were yeah. one of the Woo. thousand people to go, and that was Mickey's first ever ride. We were part of history that day. I know. We were one of the 10 people to get on. Yeah. 10 people, no, what, what you mean? We were one of the first maybe 100 people that got yeah. onto that ride. So again, it's a piece of history for us of the family, a big accomplishment. We were there at the beginning of the line at 5.36 in the morning. We got there, we did the line, we enjoyed it. We saw some of our good friends, vloggers as well that yeah. day off, and we got to, to share and spend time with them. And anyways, it was a perfect perfect day a perfect experience for us and we're so thankful to be able to to attend it so you know that's how we started 2020 all right guys so we hope you're enjoying this adventure so far but before we move forward if you're brand new here what should you do Kyla? subscribe and smash that like button and if you've been with us all this time i want to say thank you for all the love and support but if you're brand new here guys what should they do subscribe and smash that like button because this is your family content channel the one that takes you all over central florida theme parks attraction special events everywhere and we just show you our fun and share our experiences with you and you never know when these two may help you planning your next vacation or what the next thing to do at central florida. central florida exactly so what are you holding on do it it's free do it right now subscribe right there back i think it was in february right I when we so. when we went to mardi gras in universal studio and what were we doing in mardi gras Kalo? we were doing food chasing and what i think was really good of course gator bites or the the beignets were the best yeah. yeah so it's in that video when we for the first time as a family we decided to taste gator or gator bites we'd never tried it like i said I did and not it was it was a crazy experience and again one of those things that as a family you're going to get different opinion the three of us meaning kyla myself and karen did not like it but this little guy ended up loving gator bites i had to i Ma had said to. that she liked Gator bites, but she will go on sweets better than food. Exactly. And Kyla, what was your favorite thing on that video? It was the beignets because I worked so hard. Dad made a deal with me if I ate the gator bites and I can get my beignets. So I did it. <laughs> exactly. So and that and that that brings a lot of cool memories because Mardi Gras was super fun and the food was unique and, and it, was, it was before all of this. Exactly. So it was we like before all these craziness that we're living now and we look like babies <laughs> give them the cook after that mardi gras i guess that my personal choice is the character farewell video <laughs> 
Which girl is not too happy to hear about. I was crying in that video. And just like, yeah, that's my favorite video. I know. In case you don't know what I'm talking about, we had the opportunity to go to Magic Kingdom on the last night before they shut down because of the pandemic. And Kyle is not happy that I showed that video, but I'll tell you why I like that video. I, I, that video I like because it's very nostalgic. It is, it is a lot of history. We as a family, like many other people, didn't know what was gonna happen with this crazy pandemic. And this is when we decided to like go, be united, enjoy everything in the best place on earth, which is in Walt Disney World. We were in the Magic Kingdom. We got to see the last time that they did a firework, at least since the pandemic. We got to experience Magic Kingdom and why it's one of the happiest places on earth during that time. And on top of that, for the first time in history, we got to see the characters doing a farewell. Potato, potato, still the worst memory I had of 2020. <laughs> well, for me, it was amazing just to see the characters united saying us, it's, it's not goodbye, it's a see you soon. I remember Josh Tamara being on the top with, next to Mickey and Minnie waving, and they were actually chanting, at least Josh Tamara was saying, see you soon. Wow. Oh and God. that for me was so, so uh, uh, shocking to see. You're gonna make me cry again. I know, it is a very, very emotional night for many of us, especially if you're a Disney lover. We already got the part of Magic Kingdom and how important it was for us. But well, right after that, we had Wild Florida. And why Wild Florida was so cool is because it was the only local park that remained open yeah. during the pandemic. And we got to drive in the car, which we've never done before. It's like, it was like a zoo, but in, the, in a car. Yeah, they have a safari. So, Wild Florida, and we want to thank Thank Wall Florida. I mean, obviously we pay our own. We were not there invited by them, but we are all about supporting the local. And Wall Florida understood that the community needed some distraction during this pandemic. And it and was so awesome to be able to do it. And, and I'm pretty sure that was the only thing opening at that time. It was like, the only thing open at we were, that time. And we had nothing to do. Like we were so bored, I remember that. And then you told us we were going and I was so excited to see all the animals. It was super exciting to see all the animals. So if you have not had the chance to check out Wall Florida, uh, make sure you make sure you check them out. Also, you could refer to that video so you could see the whole entire adventure that we uh, had in uh, Wild Florida. But Wild Florida, it is an amazing place. In my opinion, it's completed, uh, complete, completely ignored. People don't know about it, and it's such an amazing place. That's true. Next thing, our list of 2020 is something that is very important to us as a family. Just like many of you we were forced to stay at home. And I know that can drive everybody insane, especially when you're spending too much time home, quarantine, especially with your family, and it's still driving you insane. But for us, it was a little bit different. For us, we actually found the silver lining. And if you're still with us in this video, this family is about showing you the positive things you know everything that it, we can do different the world is already full of negativity and full of hate and all that we are not about that so what we found as a family was the fact that we can spend more time yes and from being at home finally what we were waiting for it happened the theme parks of not the theme park the hotels the resort opened and we and the are restaurants. and the restaurants open and we finally were able to get out of the house which and was one awesome most, and one of the most delicious time was at the whispering canyon yes we have never been on the whispering canyon so just to give you guys a quick uh summary we decided to support disney by visiting different restaurants and give you our feedback as a family and that was one of the first many many videos and of eating i know uh, after the pandemic and we visited whispering canyon and what do you guys thought about whispering canyon i thought it was so good i had burgers with fries it was so good and i tried some of my mom's food and uh the cast members over there made us laugh so hard and we started in a great note for uh the fooding oh, 
the food videos. I know. So one of the things that we remember, like Tyler said, was the cast member, and they made it so special to us. So for that, those cast members and those videos, I forgot their name, but I want to say thank you for making it so special. It was outstanding. The food was amazing, and I, I, I don't know if you haven't been on Whispering Canyon, you, you have, have to, to go, go there. Definitely. One of our favorite places. Hopefully we can go back. I soon. know. Barbecue place. Yum yum. Ooh. What so, do you guys think about this awesome view? I think it's really, really cool. Very peaceful. I know. And you know what? Now that you mentioned peaceful, Kyla, this reminds us or reminds me. This reminds me of our of, staycation. Of our staycation here at Disney. We decided to just come for staycation here at Disney. And it was the best. I know that's what where we discover we stayed at two hotels and what, what what was our favorite hotel after after we stay on the two hotels the yacht club. The yacht so club. the yacht club ended up being our favorite Disney resort and for me the best community pool yes, and also pool the best cool. pool if you guys have not seen that video I mean hopefully I'm showing you some clips right now but if you have not seen that video I want you to look at it because it is an experience like no other. It that was super pool relaxing. It was so huge and it was so cool. We went to the side like 50 times. It was, and so, it was cool. so beautiful. It was beautiful. Yeah, I cannot wait to come back to the Jack Club again Ooh, to hopefully. stay. Oh my God, that hopefully was. Soon, hopefully. And the view. Oh, oh. that. Oh my, the I view was already. amazing. I want to go back again yeah. Yeah. because back. you know, for many of us. Disney is a place of escaping reality and living your dream. And you see, just no different than our staycation at the Jack Club. It I, was I amazing. Love, I would love to send the Jack Club to my whole entire life. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, it actually reminds me, it remind me a lot of almost cruising. Yes. Oh That's God, how peaceful yeah. it was for us. All right, next in our list, we got a local attraction. So. Fast forwarding from the summer and the staycation, then Universal Studios announced no Halloween Horror Night. If you said that for your favorite, <sighs> I was going to be so more mad. No, no, that was not my favorite part. My favorite part is when the local haunt stepped it up. For real. For real. And they say, uh-uh, we are still going to have fun during <laughs> Halloween and we're still going to do it the safest way as possible. And that, my friends, that goes to Sir Henry Haunted Trail. One of the best ones oh, I've ever done. Experience. It was so fun. And I'm I'm actually, this might sound crazy, but I'm actually glad Halloween Horror Nights canceled because then we would have never found him. I, exactly. So I want to say shout out to Zach. If you're listening to this, I want to say thank you for stepping up and, and, and entertaining us locals you and know during the, those tough times and all the characters were so good it was amazing uh, a few things that you could remember about sir henry haunted trail uh one of my favorites the candy tree the candy tree house about the kid going missing and they're trying to find his body that was really cool i know so, right and what else Kyle? you remember something specific not really i just like the candy tree a lot and when the maybe slaughter, the, what was it, the slaughterhouse or something like that? Maybe the bodies that, that the girl used for pieces for fashion. Oh, to make the mannequins that and all that? Me, oh, that made me have, that was creepy. That made me have the chills. Yeah, yeah and Kalel even made a friend. Her name was Suzanne. She was amazing. She was amazing. Anyway, Sir Henry Hunter Trail was amazing. And it became our favorite haunted trail this season. And hopefully they'll do it next year because okay. we're definitely gonna go. And we will be there. Okay, so from mm. Sir Henry Haunted Trail now on to on Dead in the Water. So on Dead in the Water, we discover as uh, doing research for local hunt, and it's uh what was it? It uh, was a boat that was in war, 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 World War II. Yeah, it's a historic ship down on the port of Tampa and it was used for World War II. And what they did is they um, just, I, I guess it, this is this was the third year doing this, but the first time that we discovered it, um, it became Kalel's favorite because it dealt with zombies, it dealt with a ship, and he liked ships, 
And what was the story about? You remember? It was about um basically there was this virus going on that um, made people go into zombies. But there was this one scientist that found a cure, so he went in to um, give them the cure so that way they could come back to a human, but he didn't survive. So we had to go in, we had to find the cure, and we had to fix all the zombies so that way we can make it out alive. It's, we were basically the distractions. They all said it out loud. I know, and, and, and it was crazy because not only you are in a, a historic ship, ship it is believed to be hunted for real. Oh my God, I was so scared about that. <laughs> and also, uh, they, they had zombies hiding everywhere. It was so cool. There was this one part that it was like the top of the boat and the zombie literally zipped in. Yeah. I was like, that is so cool. And the parts that the zombies did not go in, we went through this hallway and there was like doors. That was the most creepiest in my opinion because like, you couldn't hear anything, you didn't see anything. It was just so creepy. Yeah. One day, kids, one day, we will be there. One day. I may send the two of you okay, by yourself. Okay. All right, so from Halloween until the second of our favorite season, which is what? Christmas, Christmas. right? Oh my. And then on Christmas, we had the experience to attend to a night of a million lights. Oh my God. <laughs> And that one hit us hard. Yes. Uh, Not of a million lights, if you don't know about it, guys, is uh, by Give Kids to a World Village. And basically all the vendors, like Walt Disney World, Home Depot, a lot of people got together Universal and don donated a lot of lights. Universal Studio, all of them. Yeah. They had their own houses and they decorated with their different color lights and they even did their patterns. Yeah, so basically they have over 3 million lights all over the whole entire village and it was amazing. What got me the most was the tree that had one, like one light was 1,000 wishes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. And just so you know, all, you know, I'm excited though. As of January 17, I think they're finally bringing families back. Yes. And all so that, happy. all that they, what they do is that they bring families, uh, with children of like a critical condition and they grant them a wish to spend one week of vacation with all expenses paid for here in the theme park then they needed to recuperate more money so they came up with this magnificent event called uh, an out of a million light to just collect fun for for this upcoming year yeah so everyone can come back and have fun exactly. i'm so happy and we we came we came uh twice i'm pretty sure yeah we went twice we came yes twice and it's just very happy to come back there right after a night of a million lights we had the opportunity to go to oh. i love no i love christmas movie remember yes. that yes I, well, ice used to be but sadly they couldn't do it because of COVID. right i love christmas movies was in uh, uh gaylor palm and like Kalel said, usually they have ice, and ice, they couldn't do it because of COVID. So what they did is they actually put together um, Some uh, original movies. Stages, yeah. The yeah. actual replica of different uh, stages from the original Christmas movies. It was so cool. And it was so cool. Because we got to see Elf, we got to see And they gave us like, cool they stuff. gave us fun facts about everything too. Exactly. So it was really cool. And not only that, we were at the hotel looking at all the Christmas lights and, and it was a really cool, cool experience. After I Love Christmas movie, we were invited to another media event. And this time it was to Jolly Creek. And I'll tell you why Jolly Creek was super special for us. Um, Jolly Creek put together an event where they recruited all the performers from different theme parks and different um, hotels, anything. Any, any part of the entertainment industry that has been affected by this pandemic. These entertainers were not able to work, but Jolly Creek put together a cool Christmas event for the entire family just so they could employ these entertainers. It was really cool. The elves were really, really amazing. There were so many of them. Santa was going on a new ride, you know, no more sleigh. It was I really know. Fun. That's when we saw the, the, what was it, the Grand Floridian uh, Orchestra was That was, was there. so cool. I've never seen them before and it was so cool. And we had the opportunity to do a, a boat ride. 
a fear that oh. I never knew I had. Oh my god. Uh, it was scary. It was scary. It was in the dark and it was raining. Uh, yeah, an earth boat ride during the night time. What do you What do you thought about that, buddy? I loved it. You You loved it. I know you loved it, but I was kind of creeped out. And I'm I was scared. On top of that, it was raining and it was kind of cold. It night. was raining, it was cold, it was dark, and just the feeling of <laughs> something happening, I'm going to have to go in the water with the alligators. Well, anyways, I, I wanted to take the opportunity to once again thank Jolly Creek for putting all this together. And, and bring, inviting us. Inviting us and also bringing all these performers. Another one of our favorite events was in Gatorland. This time was Gatorland Hold, Hold, Hold Down, which is Gatorland's first event during the holidays. And it was amazing. Amazing. And we have, if you have been following us for a while, we've been telling you we love the people from Gatorland. We love Gatorland a lot. And Gatorland we, doesn't get the love it deserves. I know. We, we, you, they need to get more and more guests. But anyways. I appreciate what Gatorland did during the, the holidays because it was fun, uh, it was uh, full of interactive characters. Yes, it and, was so cool. I'm and the part that I'm most thankful about is that we were able to meet Savannah Bourne and Mike. You that know? was amazing. So if you follow Savannah, uh, if you actually watch anything from Thank Gatorland, you. In, in YouTube, you will see Savannah. Yes. And it was it was it was super cool not only to meet them, but to be able to see the gators so close. Oh my God. And don't worry, we are six feet distance. Everyone is fine. Yeah. Well, in case people were wondering, yes, that happened for real. We were that close from the gators, about six feet. It was scary. It was it was, it was nerve wracking, but you know we got the experts there. And we were actually in an enclosure with gators. I was ready to sprint just in case. <laughs> And it was an amazing, amazing experience. So, I mean, I know something Savannah, oh, Savannah watches this video. So thank you once again for the, for taking us back And the, the, crea the creativity. The creativity, yeah. They made, they made these snowmans that were melting because you know, snowmans in, in Florida. Florida. Yeah. And the gingerbread with all the cast members, Savannah, Mike, and many more. It was super, super, super cool. So, I hope you guys do that next year because we will be there. We will be there. And last but not least, guys, we were invited to a local haunted oh, home. That's so great. Here in Orlando or close to Apopka for the holidays. And that that is called Santa's Slaughterhouse. Slaughterhouse. And we, Man, that was so amazing. It was so great. Gave me a new perspective, definitely, from <laughs> Christmas. Um, and, and that video, just so you guys know, is one of our most recent videos about a week, a week and a half old. And uh, they did it for only one weekend. And what they did, once again, they invited all these characters from different parts of, of Orlando to participate. And I, it was it was crazy. So the story is that uh, Santa made the elves work so hard that they kind of went a little bit psycho. But I say 2020 story that they were stuck in for too too long. It was Christmas in 2020. We keep saying that, but the story was amazing. The scare actor were amazing. beyond amazing. In our, in our last video, we did uh, one with me and Dad and one with all of us. And man, it was so good. You guys, they do it next year. We're going back and you guys should come too. Yeah, and Ashley, if you're watching this video, thank you for inviting thank us. You. And you know, if you do something like that again, we will be there. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, our 2020 has been it was it's been good. a roller coaster like many of you, but as a family we identified the silver lining and we were able to have fun. And we, we discovered new things due to a lot of things closing and we gained some of you guys. That exactly, we gained, exactly, we gained more of you guys. So for the channel perspective, it has been amazing. Yes. And to be able to bring you home with us, it's been super, super cool. And I can only, I can only imagine what's gonna happen for on 2021. It might be crazier. It may be crazier, <laughs> but you know what? bottom line we will be together yeah, yeah. as a family mom's here too and mom mom happens to be working today but i know she's sending the same message um but anyways what's gonna happen with our channel Kyla, do you want to give them 
okay. something new. Uh, instead of us going to the theme parks, we're going more of the crafting section. We want to expand the channel to do what? DIY and many other things. So we decided that we're going to change it up. But hopefully you would like those videos. Exactly. We're also going to do more live streams, uh, maybe theme parks or maybe at home. So we got, instead of two days, we're going to have three days now. Woohoo! So we're excited to get to see you and share more with you. Anywho guys, we want to wish everybody a happy new year. Thank you for being with us all this time. And if you brought new here guys, thank you for, I don't know, sticking with us for now. And we hope that you continue with us. But sadly, this adventure has ended. And with that said, we want to remind everybody to subscribe and smash that like button and turn on that bell for notifications. Bing, bing, bing. And feel free to comment down below. Always remember to smile loud, be great, be cool, and stay awesome. See you guys in the next adventure. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Boom. 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 Happy New Year, everybody. Happy Jumanji. New Year. Jumanji. Jumanji this year. <laughs> See ya. Bye.